Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is project number 12 for our multi-project electronic learning board. Uh, this is the basic audio amplifier. This is a quick and dirty audio amplifier. So this is our stereo jack peripheral. It's our audio jack. We plug this into uh, our uh, Samsung device, our Apple device, iPod, Blackberry device, HTC device, whatever you have that, that outputs audio. Uh, it's going to have two wires. Our white wire should be connected to the ground, uh, one of the ground pins, the common ground pins on our power supply pin block. And our yellow wire, which, is all, which will be our signal wire, we, we're going to connect to the A1 plus pin on our board, which is the positive input of our non, one of our non-inverting operational amplifier circuits. This circuitry right here is fixed. This is a 1K ohm resistor for RA. RB is uh, labeled gain 1 on, on the board. It's a 10-turn potentiometer. Uh, value of 100 k ohm, so we can adjust our gain of our amplifier between 1 and uh, 101. Now, if you haven't seen our audio amplifier tutorial, it's listed below. Uh, watch it, it gives you a good idea of how this actually works. And what we're going to do is we are going to connect our speaker peripheral to the board. We're going to connect one side, one pin to the speaker, which is just a coil of wire, to our V, to our 5 volt line on our power supply uh, pin block, and we're going to connect the other side to our actuator driver uh, pin. Now how do you do that, you ask? Look over here. This is our actuator pin block. When we want to select our buzzer, we short these two pins, labeled buzz. When we want to select our relay, we, select, we short these two pins, labeled RLY. When we want to select our motor, we short these two pins, MTR. However, if we want to use our speaker, what we have to do is connect the other wire right here here, which is really right here. This equates to this. This line is all connected, and that's this. So we've got more or less our VCC connected to our speaker, connected to there. And so now, when we connect our A1 output, once uh, we can connect our amplifier output to our act pin on the board, right here. This is just a representation. Then the audio signal will drive the transistor partially. It'll, it'll drive it accordingly to the audio signal that's fed to it, and that will drive our speaker. And we will actually be able to hear the signal coming from our iPod. So this is just a very, very, very basic audio amplifier. I like to call it the quick and dirty audio amplifier. Uh, very easy to connect on the board, and we're going to do that right now. This is your speaker peripheral. This is your audio peripheral. That's going to take audio from my iPod, transfer it to the board to be amplified, and put it through our speaker. So the first thing we have to do is, you'll notice that there's a white wire, and in this case, a, an orange wire. Sorry if it's blurry. Uh, this the orange wire will likely be yellow when you receive your board. Uh, anyhow, so take the white wire connected to the ground line on the uh, on the uh, power supply pin block and connect our signal wire to the A1 plus pin on the main pin block. Next, you want to take your actuator pin block and make sure that all of the jumpers have been taken off. I know it's a bit difficult to see, I'll zoom in in a minute. Uh, and once you've done that, you take one of your speaker pins and place it on the bottom rail. Any one, any one of the three on the bottom rail is fine. And the other side you want to connect to 5 volts on the power supply pin block. Now remember, the power supply pin block is labeled. So now, what I can do is I can plug in my, uh, my iPod to be, and the signal will be amplified and put through the speaker. But first, I have to tune my uh, amplifier. So I'm going to take my A1 out pin, A1 out my amplifier out, and I'm going to connect it to the actuator pin, ACT. Now let's zoom in on the board. What I've done is I've connected my iPod, I have applied power to the board, and I've put my speaker on a, a soft little resting place so it doesn't vibrate against the table when it plays. And now I'm just going to zoom in on the board to show you how to amplify the signals. Okay, so first I'll turn on my iPod. Sounds like crap, because I have not turned up the audio yet. 
So I turn my gain left. So that's KISS. And as you notice, the, the audio quality got better when I picked it up off the board. You might also notice that it was only one channel. Uh, um, when, for those of you who don't know about how audio is mixed, uh, you'll get two channels because there's many different tracks, audio tracks, uh, on both different channels. So you'll never get the, the, the full effect of the song using one channel because this is a stereo connector and we're really only using one of the two signals, the left or the right. But anyhow, so really all I did was connected the signal to the board to the input of the audio amplifier. At the output of the audio amplifier, I connected that to our transistor driver, which was driving our speaker, and I was adjusting the gain from our gain one potentiometer as per the uh, instructions on the video. So stay tuned for our next video, our next project. It's actually going to be very similar. We're going to turn vibration into audio. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.